Age Dave said, you're going to be fucked up if I'm thinking about not. He needs some money. Emphasis on little. It is what it is, man. All right, so look, DSG, it's about time we get to some motherfucking content. Um, Yeah, uh, we, we've we been wilding. I'm not going to lie. We definitely have been wilding. All right, DSG, it's about time we get to our first video of the day. First video of the day, we're about to start off with this. Please don't interrupt me when I do this intro. All right, so we're going to start it off with this. Jamari, you already know he always has good content. And this video is titled The End of Lizzo. So we got to watch this because I don't know what he is talking about. How did Lizzo end herself? What part of her career has ended? I don't know what is going on with this. So let's go ahead and see what's happening with Lizzo because y'all already know I knock her big ass down, man. Fuck around with y'all niggas, man. It's been half a year since we last talked about. See what I'm saying? You can grab that. Bruh, that's what I be meaning about big joints. Bro, if I'm knocking a big joint down and I grab her by her hands and then have one hand like this, just holding her hands, the other hand, I can grab her tricep and I'm grabbing a titty. Like, bruh, I'm over there knocking her ass down. I got both her hands with this hand and I just grab a tricep and that's a whole titty right there with no nipple. It just is what it is. That's what I'm saying. Like, Lizzo, stop playing. I see all that right there. Oh, Lizzo, last time we caught up with the singer, the her life, her reputation, and possibly her freedom were all crumbling before her very eyes. Y'all know Lizzo is a Ain't none crumbling but a crumble cookie for Lizzo, so... Essentially a Walking Dove commercial at this point, all about quote-unquote body positivity. I realize that my mere existence is a form of activism, especially in the body positive community, and I wear... Body positive is just about y'all fat bitches. It ain't never about people who disabled and shit who ain't got control over it. Your, your fat ass, you got control over that. You know damn well if you want to, you could just put the motherfucking fork down. But you don't want to do it. Ain't no such thing as no body positivity. That hat really well. And I'm going to continue to put on. Yo, you, yeah, put on more weight with your big ass. You over there breathing heavy and you standing there. Like, look, all y'all fat bitches on stage, you know how long it took for all y'all big asses to get up there? I know you had plenty of time to catch your breath, and you breathing hard as a motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? And you got the nerve to act like ain't nothing wrong with that. It's your big ass. The fuck is you? Why are you breathing so heavy? Lizzo, calm your big ass down. One, and represent and create safe spaces for black, fat women. No, we not creating safe spaces for fat black women because y'all enabling more black women to become fat. And acting like your big ass is the face of beauty for black women. That's not what we doing at all. But I would knock down half of y'all bitches on the stage. It just is what it is. I'm not going to lie. I'm knocking this big bitch down right here immediately. Fuck is you talking about? This like a Rennie Rucci if she was fat. You got me fucked up. I'm going to knock this fat bitch down so quick. And then, and then them titties. She got the spaced out joints, bro. Yo, shout out to her. Space goes from coast to coast. Them big ass motherfucking titties. They ain't even that big. It's just you can tell they, they spread apart. I'm fucking with it. I'm cool with it, bro. Nigga, her big ass getting knocked down. I know it got a little to it, but it is what it is, nigga. Her big ass getting knocked down expeditiously. Not her. I ain't. It ain't no colorist shit, nigga. It's just she kind of look like Sukiyana, nigga. Ain't got nothing to do with no colorist shit, bro. The fuck you talking about? But yeah, half these big bitches on stage getting knocked down. It just is what it is, nigga. Lizzo, your big ass, you know you getting thrashed. The fuck is you talking about? She look like a fat Issa Rae. You know what I'm saying? But according to the lawsuit filed against her, that couldn't be less true. Alarming allegations of fat shaming, essay. Yo, I ain't know Sama Hayek had a head on her. Her shoulders, I ain't know that. I knew she had a good head on her shoulders because she's successful, but I didn't know she had a nice little head up there too. And many other Ellen DeGenerate-esque activities were being levied. Ellen DeGenerate? Yo, yo, yo. Jamari, I might have to use that, bruh. Do you I, need some money? I like that. Ellen Shorty DeGenerate? Gold titties is like my old childhood friend. They ain't seen each other since grade school. That's fucked up. Yo, bro, I didn't disrespect her titties. Why would you do that? It against the singer by the people she employs. These allegations all stem from a time period when Lizzo was working on her. Why is she doing that like she she a nigga? Why is she Lizzo? You ain't got no nuts to grab. It's an, it, I mean, it's it's a nice, it's 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 something down there to grab, but it ain't it ain't you know what I'm saying? It ain't you ain't got no balls in there. Do you need some money? You're hurting Ellen. No, no, probably show for amazon prime titled lizzo's yes i said that yes i said that kazzy because you know see kazzy gonna sit here and lie let me look for everybody in here kazzy just said did this nigga say i know i got a little to it all right all right for everybody in here who don't know i'm about to put y'all niggas on to something real quick for everybody in here who don't know 
I want y'all to look at this nigga, right? Because I'm going to show y'all a nigga that fuck fat bitches. This right here is a nigga that openly fucks fat bitches. But he don't want anybody to ever find out. It be niggas that look exactly like this. So when he said, did this nigga say that? He only saying, why the hell are you telling everybody about it? Because he know a nigga like this, no. This is exactly how he picked them fat bitches' legs up. Bro, what? You act like I don't know I'm a fat bitch kind of suit myself. Every fat, every fat bitch. Bro, what is he doing? This is not any exercise at all, bro. He's doing this because he used to fucking fat bitches. Bro. You know the nigga got his legs spread apart and everything, lifting her big ass up, dropping it off in her big ass. That's what I'm saying, bro. Fuck is he talking about? This nigga might as well be DEO with fat bitches. Fuck is you talking about, bro? I'm trying to tell you. He dropping off in all the fat bitches. Real shit. Bro, niggas Do like this. Some money. Be... Stop snitching. Hey, bro, it is what it is. I'm just keeping it in a band, bro. Some money. Shingeki, no fat bitch. No, he fucks all of the fat bitches. Niggas who look like this, skinny and built, love fucking fat bitches. It is what it is, nigga. That's the thing. Cassie gonna sit here and lie. Nigga. Cassie. You probably ain't gonna knock down the ball joint. She look like a nigga. I don't know. Yeah, she getting thrashed. Lizzo. This joint. Possibly her. Depending on what it's like. You know what I'm saying? Not Suki. Uh, yeah, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a few of these joints. You know what I'm saying? But Cassie don't lie, nigga. You know you knocking them down, bruh. You know it, bruh. It just is what it is. Like, niggas like that's built like Zach like him, they love fucking fat bitches. They do that shit on the slide, though, to where you ain't gonna know about it. They do the shit on the sneak tip, I mean. They try to do that shit low key. Nah. Yo, niggas that's built just like Cassie be knocking down all of the fat bitches. For real, bro. Watch out for the big girls. What's up, y'all? It's Lizzo. I'm looking for Dan. Come on, bro. She's looking for Daquan. That's what she's about to say. Sir, to join me on my tour. Girls that look like me don't get representation. And the sub I don't need rep. She's getting thrashed. Do y'all see what I just know it? That is a nigga. You cannot tell me that's not a nigga. She is getting wrecked, nigga. And I'm sorry about the soup you joined. It is what it is, nigga. Look at her. Whoa, I ain't mean to move the chat. And even a Suki joint, bro. Look, like, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, look, she got, like, the fat, the real fat girl ass. She is getting the, bro. Nah, see, that's that's the one for me. That right there, yeah, that's me. That's all me. Like, publicly. Publicly, yeah. Her, that's public right there. Her, whoa, 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 chill, not him. Yo, dead ass. She look like, like a stud version of The Rock. Like, dead ass, bro. Big ass motherfucking chin. But, yo, this is getting thrashed. But, like, I can, if people find out, I ain't necessarily going to be mad. I'm going to be like, yo, why you telling people? This, that's me. That's me. Everybody, if anybody in there say that she looking at them or anything like that, please ban them because that's me right there. But, like, yeah, um, her, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, let me just drink a little bit and I got you. This drink right here, I, yeah, I ain't eating that motherfucker. But, yo, you know, I'm going I'm to at least look at it. You know what I'm saying? Because some fat bitches, I don't be trying to look. Cause it's it's, it's kind of hard to find it when I got lifted stomach up and find it and shit. Dips on gray sweats. Yo, yo, I, I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? We can tag team that joint for real. You know what I'm saying? Cause she definitely getting the ass thrashed. But I'm just saying, this one right here is definitely for me. You see the way she looking at me? That's crazy. Nah, no bullshit. Like, I know y'all are looking through a screen, but like, if you look at it, you could tell she's dead ass. Like, look, if you see the traject the trajectory, look at it. She's literally looking right at me. Look at the way she. That's crazy. And before y'all even, hold on, because y'all going to be like, no, she ain't. All right. Nah, that's crazy. Why she really, dog, that's crazy. She is dead ass looking right you at me. You need some money. That's some crazy. Some of these chicks ain't fat. A big girl with a figure is just thick in my book. When they built like SpongeBob's lost sister. Nah, or bro, that's Lego, crazy. She that's really when they're right considered fat. Nah, a lot of these bitches be fat. You wildin'. So you just want a lot to get the pussy. You ain't got a lot. You ain't getting no pussy over here. Why are you lying? You talking about some of these chicks ain't fat. Yes, they are. The fuck? We ain't gonna sit there and lie about it. Do you need some money? Lizzo needs to know hand org is getting thrown out the window. I'm tackling that thing sober all night. Lizzo is getting her big ass tossed. I'ma keep it a thousand. But this drunk right here, the way she is looking at me is crazy. If somebody could find her Instagram for me, I'd appreciate that. Cause that's that's me right there. That's that's a brown skinned queen right there. I need that tour she did afterwards with the winners selected from said show namely three backup dancers came out to sue lizzo her touring company
one big room full of fat bitches. This is really the crazy show. Came out to sue Lizzo, her touring company, Big Girl Entertainment, and a judge on the show named Shirlene Quigley. Basically, the allegations are that Lizzo is a power-hungry tyrant of a boss who felt she could treat people around Hungry? You ain't even throw that word in, bro. Around her like you dirt underneath her shoe. When I saw them speak up, I thought, that's what strong looks like. And I was really proud of- When you saw them speak up, you said, that's what fat looked like. The fuck you mean strong? You think these bitches are power lifters? Like, stop playing. Y'all gotta stop playing. Like, why do y'all like lying? The fuck you mean? That's what strong look- That's what fat look like. The fuck is you talking- It's a whole group of fat bitches. And you mean to tell me that's what strong look like? Hell no. The fuck is you talking about? You saw I just put this thing of Cassie on the screen. On the screen, that's what strong look like, bitch. Them, all of them fat bitches. That's what fat look like. Stop playing. Of them because I knew how toxic the work culture was on that tour, uh, firsthand. They alleged she did things like force them to get nude for photographs. She made the dancers go with her to the red light district in Amsterdam, which is known for having nude performers. Apparently, during this show, Lizzo allegedly began inviting her dancers. To take turns touching the club's nude performers. Apparently, she made them also catch. Oh my god. See, now when I look at Lizzo like this, I'm like, yo, come on, dog. I can't, I, I can't rock with it. I can't. It's her Instagram, bro. No bullshit. Cause like the niggas who won here yesterday, it's dead ass her Instagram. It ain't got nothing to do with this. It's literally because of the Instagram, bro. Cause if I look at this, I ain't knocking that down. I'm not. But, like, it is what it is. I'm thrashing this. I've been told y'all. Y'all know what time it is, bro. I'm thrashing that. This is getting tossed. This is getting... Look, like, bro. This is getting tossed. Y'all gonna lie and act like y'all wouldn't. This is getting thrown around. Lizzo. So y'all feel me? But, like, when she on her gothic shit, bitch, you ain't Marilyn Manson. What is, what is this? Look at this and then, like, what? Like, bro. What the... Like, why? 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 What? Why? What the fuck, Lizzo? You look. What the fuck? But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Let me finish this video. We ain't never even finished that one. That that's getting punished though. Poise straight out of their for JJ and even eat bananas wow, that were protruding out of the same what up, area. Fanatic, the good, three bro? women say they were pressured to attend the after party events Lizzo planned because those who went were widely considered to enjoy greater job security. Things start kind of getting a little weird. They start pulling out toys or like they? the performers. Okay. Then they start taking out bananas and the girl would like put them, you know. Y'all fat bitches, you know, they, like, look, you ain't get offended by no goddamn banana. Like, you only got offended about what you got to do with that banana. Shut your fat ass up. You know damn well when you saw that banana, you was like, I'm kind of hungry. Facts. Thank you for the snack. But then when you realize you got to use that motherfucker, that's the only time you got mad. No, in her, Don't lie with your herself, Lizzo was- Yo, yo, Will, the Will Shy, you know you got this. Black Baby Jesus, you know you got this. Like, obviously, you know if I post this, I'm like, <laughs> Black Baby Jesus, you know this. Like, we already got a strike right now. This going to be the second strike. So, Black Baby Jesus, you know this all you. Encouraging people to like, oh, hey, you, come do it. Hey, you, come do it. They even allege at one that point that she encouraged one of her dancers who was a known virgin. I'm surprised that stage is not shaking. Nah. I ain't realize all these bitches is this big. Like, I thought it was some, like, regular big bitches. Yo, Scalp, I been had a strike, bro. <laughs> I just got a strike recently because of the, uh, when I cooked that fat nigga for trying to cure Toriyama. And to touch one of these nude performers' breast. She started a chant after I had said no multiple times. Um, she was like, Ari, Ari. And then everyone kind of joined in, Ari, Ari. I briefly touched the performer and withdrew my hands. And a joint built like this, I'm not going to lie, bro. You ain't even got to ask her to get the gooch. I'm, I'm just keeping it. Like, I'm talking about she the type that, like, when she lick all over your balls, she do this with him. Like, nah, me your whore and get killed. Like, they did on a motherfucking, um, on a what's love got to do with it. That ass. She gonna really go, like, a joint like this built like this. She working. She working. I'm dead ass, bro. She gonna slob all over your balls and do this with him. You know what I'm saying? And then... Like she, yeah, she, she, she going. And you know, everyone kind of burst into laughter because me of all people, they thought it was funny that I. <laughs> this nigga DSG Zookeeper. 
You're an asshole, I was bro. Touching You're a straight up asshole. I just said I feel unsafe. I feel disrespected. There's a bunch of mistreatment and just unprofessionalism going on. She basically so said I'm going to sleep. Fuck that! Why? They're talking not the place that they put the bananas in the box and shot it out into your mouth. I have to ban you for saying that. Did you really just say that? You're earthbound with me. Why the f what 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 the fuck? What the hell are you talking about? Why the fuck would you? What the fuck, nigga? This and crack her knuckles, and she was like, "Ooh, you're what so effing lucky right now." But she's like inching her way towards me, alluding to, "You're so lucky. I'm not going to hit you." They also claim that. Man, look, bro. Y'all be doing this shit for the money. Dead ass. If a crackhead walk up to you and act like they about to hit you, you gonna knock their ass out. You know what I'm like really, you only doing this shit because it's Lizzo fat ass. For real, you got it like that ass because she famous. If this is some random fat bitch, you if a random fat bitch walk up on you, act like she about to knock you out. Man, girl, if you want your big ass on somewhere, like that ass. Y'all y'all do this shit for the money. Like y'all gotta stop faking this During shit. During practice, Lizzo was so insane that at one point she made them dance for twelve hours straight, all in an attempt to keep their jobs. And then that ain't never happened. You think fat bitches was dance for twelve? See, and then y'all making up shit. What up, the Cosmic Clone was good, bro. And then y'all making up shit. You mean to tell me a whole group of fat bitches was, was dancing for 12 hours? Like, and we supposed to believe that? <laughs> Is there anybody in here that believes that these, that these, <laughs> yo, nah, this nigga, yo, this nigga hello inside. Yo, bro, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Cause you already know I thought that, but I ain't say it. Yo, bro, but who who in here believes a group of fat bitches was dancing for 12 hours? Like, really? Come on, man. <laughs> like, 12 hours? If you would have said two, we would have believed that. We'd have, we'd have somewhat believed that. You're going to say 12 hours and expect us to believe that? And one of them even had to soil their own pants out of fear that she would be fired if she asked for a bathroom break. You, you lying. You want that money because she famous. Like, bro, that's what I be saying. They do this shit because they famous, bro. What up, DJ Prince? What up, bro? Was I under the impression that if I left the stage, I would be fired? Yes. Did I? You do, you doing this because she famous. If this happened to some random motherfucker that was paying, that was getting paid $100 a show, you wouldn't care. You wouldn't be saying this shit. You would have just left. You only kept this job because it was Lizzo. Fortunately, go to the bathroom on myself on one stage because I was so terrified. Yes, there is you in a court of law. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know anything. But I know that if you ask someone to tell the truth, these things will come out of her mouth. If you have to say yes or no to these questions, she has to say yes because they are true. There was multiple witnesses. She was allegedly known to sing aloud and purposely embarrass dancers, as well as somehow be fat phobic. Basically, this lawsuit makes it sound as though the dancers were treated like second class citizens on this tour. Keep in mind, this all being after they. I ain't never seen an agile fat bitch. Nah, bruh. Uh, nah, I didn't. Nah, she really did that. Yo, yo, <laughs> what the fuck? I've never seen that, dog. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I gotta put that in slow mo. I have to put that in slow mo. How does she do that? Be <laughs> nah, it sounds like this thing was about to say big bitch. It sounds like he's about to say bitch. Yo, nah. Nah, it was, yo, what the fuck? Nah, what was he saying? Nah, what was he saying? It really seemed like he was saying, you bitch, this big ass bitch. What's up, bro? Nah, what the fuck? Nah, as soon as her big ass did this, he said, bitch, bruh. Nah, come on, man, stop playing, bro. Stop playing. Come on, this all being after this. Well, ain't no fucking way, bro. Damn. she blows. That was good ass topic. That was good ass topic. Do you need some Oh money? my god, bro. Of the new force. Nigga, how did she do that? How did she do that, bro? Oh my god, bro. How did she do that with her big ass? I never knew she could do a cartwheel. Lined up, worked extremely hard. In a split? Oh, that one Lizzo. Need some money? That one Lizzo. She moving like Pio and Kung F.U. Panda. Nigga, like Poe. <laughs> 
Like, Poe is crazy. Hard ...and won a competition that was pitched as the dream chance to work directly with someone. I'm sure at the time most of them loved him. She, whoa, 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 we got, you, you know we got to slow that down. We got to run that back. I'm, uh, yeah. With those arms? Oh, oh yeah. She got it. She definitely got it. Yeah, that's hitting on something. That right there? Oh, yeah. That's still a nigga. You cannot convince me they ain't a nigga. That, that's hitting on something. Look at the arm. Do you see that arm? When that arm go out like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cassie, no. Cassie, where you at? Cassie, I see you right now. You better nigga tell these niggas, bro. You know that. Cassie B's like, you can't do you can't do a cartwheel and you ain't even like close to Lizzo's size is crazy. But yeah, nah, this joint right here, that's how you know. Yo, you already know, Shamey. I ain't even show y'all nigga. You know, man, you already know she getting knocked down. That's that that's a given. That's a sober one. That's a sober one. This right here, you know what I'm saying? I just got to prepare myself for how it might smell. You do know, Cassie. You can lie all you want. I know you fucked plenty of fat bitches. Cassie, we ain't going to continue this stream until you tell us the God and the truth. If you hit more than three fat bitches, then everything I said was the truth. Don't lie, Cassie. You hit more than three fat bitches, and y'all know he going to lie. Y'all know he going to lie. Cassie, do not get in here and lie. Do you, you know you hit more than three fat bitches? The one in blue look like Crip Man. Cassie, have you hit more than three fat bitches? Don't lie, nigga. Because if, if, if you hit more than three fat bitches, that means everything I said is the truth. Cassie, have you hit more than three fat bitches? It's a yes or no question, nigga. It's a yes or no. It ain't no wow. Why are you saying wow? Y'all see this nigga can't even come to terms with it. He can't even come to terms with it. Yo, we know you hit more than three fat bitches. You know he did, I was saying. That's why he, that's why he said wow. It was a yes or no question. The nigga said wow. I didn't ask you wow. I asked you yes or no. Have you hit more than three fat bitches? Nah, he said about three of them. If you say you hit about three fat bitches, that means you hit at least seven. I, that, nah, we ain't even gonna, just going to double that. That means you at least hit seven. That you tell that like you openly would admit to. So in real in realistic numbers, you hit more than 10. Easily. Y'all look, y'all have to understand nigga terms. Y'all gotta understand it for what it is. Look, if a bitch walk up on you and tell you, yeah, I only fuck two niggas, that bitch fuck ten. Easily. That year. Probably that same month. This nigga Cassie telling us I hit about three bitches, three fat bitches. That means I would tell y'all I've actually fucked seven and what I really fucked was at least 15. I tell y'all niggas all the time, I ain't hit a fat bitch in like six years. Nigga, do you know how good fat bitch pussy is? You got me fucked up if you think I'm gonna wait six years for that. That ass, I just, I ain't gonna, it ain't, it ain't no stories that I can tell y'all about. That's the reason why I ain't, I ain't sit there and do it. It wasn't really no stories. Of course I hit a fat bitch in the last six years. Why wouldn't I? I hit a fat bitch almost every year. It's it's a yearly goal. It's like an annual goal, bro. No bullshit. Every year, because fat bitches, they got that box. It is what it is. I got to hit a fat bitch every year, at least one. And I'm not going to hold y'all. Sometimes I be trying to figure out how big do I want to go. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yep. Nigga said it's a tradition. Nigga <laughs> said it's a tradition. Bro, this nigga JMB said it's a tradition. It is, though. Like, nigga, at, at, at least once a year... And then it all depends on how big the bitch was. If she wasn't that big, the next year I got to go bigger. Look, man, it's just like a goal that you set for yourself. You got to go bigger every year. And that's what I do sometimes. Like, say, for instance, this is exactly how this would go right here, right? All right, I'm going to start off with this, obviously. All right. And then next year, like, you know that. And that's not even big enough if we being honest. So yeah, bro. You know, and look, every year you gotta go bigger. It just is what it is. And I don't, I don't mind admitting it. Y'all niggas just like lying. I'm not gonna lie about I it. Most of them loved and respected. I look up to her so much, and I just want to follow in her footsteps. And Why I do you want to follow in her footsteps? Look at them chubby ass hands. Why do you want to follow in her footsteps? Why don't you follow my footsteps on a treadmill, or on a trail? That's what I'm like. Why do you want to follow in the footsteps of a fat man? I just want to share that with the Queen Lizzo herself. Furthermore, based the on queen, their experience, the Queen Latifah, the fuck is you talking about this big ass? She seems to be the exact opposite of the person she portrays publicly, calling her political advocacy into serious question. And so you guys are probably wondering at this point, well, Jamari, why do you bring this all up? And it's actually because there has been some movement when it comes to this case. 
I was, I was about to say, just the case. With all them fat bitches, movement, that ain't even something they're familiar with. Don't even And it looks like we are going to see them actually go to court. So yesterday, Lizzo put. I want to see them actually go to the gym. This message to the world to via her. In Got to hit one fat white bitch on Juneteenth every year for my ancestors. See, see, when I was getting this, into specifics, at least you being real, you want to hit a fat white joint. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, see what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I, I want to hit like a real fat, like Persian bitch, like Indian or whatever the fuck. I want to hit one of them. I'm not gonna hold you. I want to hit one of them bitches that'll take off a, you know what I'm saying? Like a, like a job and shit and be fat as hell, like real fat. I want to, like, I want to hit a fat bitch with hairy arms. That is that weird? Is that that don't that is that weird? But it's it's not like I'm like yo I want her to have hairy arms. It's just I know them Indian bitches that have it. Don't get it. No, it's not like I'm like yo I want to hit a bitch with hairy arms. I want to hit them bit whatever race that is of those bitches that got them hairy ass arms. I want to hit one of them the, the real fat ones. That's what I'm saying. They need some money. I'm not saying. Damn, they're taking Lizzo to the food court. They <laughs> need some money. Gotta hit a fat bitch once a year to guarantee nigga, a good what? harvest. Nigga, what? Nigga, take a Lizzo to the food court? Yo, nigga, what? Yo, nah, that has no. Take a Lizzo to the food court. Nah, real shit, though, man. Look, bro. Look, it is what it is, man. Look, yeah, yeah, Curry Max and whatever it is, bro. I'm just saying, whatever race of whatever race of bitch that is with them hairy ass arms, I want to hit one of them, like the fat ones though. Instagram page where she says I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the when they doing drags and carries when they gotta drag your fat ass out of building. What you mean getting dragged by everybody? What you mean? You ain't got a choice. Internet. All I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a yo, little better yo, than yo, 24k kakarot magic it, it, there's nothing gay about that i'm literally saying whatever race that is of them bitches that be having them hairy ass arms i want to hit one of them one of them bitches that got like the little diamond like the little uzi vert shit and in the middle of their forehead what are those whatever that is i want to hit one of them how i found it but I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. I'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views, being the butt of the That's joke Indian. every okay. single time because of how I look. Oh, poor Lizzo playing the victim. My character being picked apart by people who don't know. This nigga balling homeless one said, uh, that arm hair be soft. Say, I, I don't know about all that. I ain't, I ain't, you know, bro, I'm just saying, like, I just want to, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know about all that. You me bother. and are disrespecting my name. I didn't sign up for this shit. I quit, she says. And you know, guys, it's kind of hard for me to take her seriously when first off she was allegedly doing all of these sick things behind the scenes. But also when her Instagram account handle is literally Lizzo be eating. Of course, the comments <laughs> came out to absolutely destroy her. This guy says quitting eating? Ignore all the positive <laughs> comments. They lying. Nah. See you at McDonald's. Thank you. Thank you. Look, body positivity is a fucking cope. They be lying to y'all. Look, Lizzo, if you really think these motherfuckers think that, yo, yo, her body, I love her confidence and all this other shit. Tell them, how about you get fat and look just like me? I'm talking about all of you bitches that always love saying, nah, Lizzo, you know what? Her body is perfect. She's perfect in the body that she's in. All of this. Nah, how about you go look like her? McDonald's next week. How about, Maybe take how about a walk. You a way. very you long like one. And now people are actually speculating that the real reason Lizzo is going. Damn, I didn't know them teeth was looking like this. God damn, the bitch is sharp as hell right here. Yo, damn, Lizzo. Yo, bro, she got the Pennywise teeth. Y'all remember when Pennywise smiled? She dead ass got the Pennywise teeth. I didn't know her shit was like that. Yo, Lizzo, you could. Yo, bro, you you know you got enough bread. Get them veneers or something. Damn. Big ass motherfucking front teeth and, and then them shits, them shits crossing over. You know what I'm saying? I'll meet you at the crossroads. Them teeth gonna meet, you know what I'm saying? Your dentist at the crossroads. What the fuck is this? God damn. Going to be taking some time Listen, away. Do he's due to the money. latest. Taken taking DSG to the next level. Daquan trying to hit Ozaru. I'm not necessarily trying to hit. Like I told you, I'm not trying to hit a joint with hairy arms. It's just whatever race that is, I'm trying to do that. Update in her court case where a judge denied her motion to completely throw this lawsuit out. So the judge on February 2nd denied Lizzo's motion to toss out the bombshell harassment lawsuit filed by three of her former backup dancers. Now keep in mind, he did actually dismiss her. See, 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 look, 
One thing we can never do is underestimate the power of an agile, mobile, flexible big joint. Dog, if I ever find a class full of fat bitches doing splits and shit, shit. This nigga Diesel said hitting the Hariyama is crazy. <laughs> if you don't watch Pokemon, y'all don't know. If you don't play it, bruh. Nigga said hit the Hariyama. Nah, but no. Yo, bruh. Y'all niggas lying. Y'all not knocking her down? Do you need Y'all not knocking her down? I remember back we got to be real. Grade, there was this huge African bitch in my class. You know she got some she beautiful ass skin? She used to some nice ass perfume and I used to want to do unspeakable earrings? things to her. And she was probably, and she was fat. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm look, a lot of niggas want to fuck a real fat girl. Look at this joint. She getting she getting thrashed. Certain accusations here, but he is gonna be allowing the case as a whole to move forward. See, she look like a clean big joint. She the she the big joint that's clean. Trial. Basically what Lizzo and her team of lawyers Hey, hold on. Let me get my kids real quick. Hold on. I don't want y'all trying to stay up late and be like, oh, we hungry and it's 12 o'clock. All right? My foot, I mean, my toe doesn't hurt too so bad. Your toe doesn't hurt? Oh, uh -huh. I'm glad it doesn't, my little baby. He already gave y'all stuff. He gave y'all stuff? What'd he give y'all? Are you serious? You know I am. What you think, bro? Can we see Charlie real quick before he can get some more wine? I'm not getting wine. I'm not drinking wine. Oh. I'm not even drinking anymore. I drank a little bit of Hennessy. That's it. I'm good. You want you want to show them your hairline or something, bro? No. Go ahead, bro. You might as well show off your little hair. Shut your you goddamn still, you, ass you up! About, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Go Shut on. your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. <laughs> All right. You still about ugly? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I get the step. Shut up. your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. Y'all get the step. Y'all get the step. Y'all can get the step. Tell him, Izzy. Shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. I love you. I feel it with you. Hold on, hold on. We never do it with that left. Was that my left? No. All right, yeah, right. You know that. Lock it in, though. Lock it in, though, little cousin. Lock it in. Nigga! Adrian, lock it in, little cousin. She tripping. Yo, Adrian, lock it in, bro. Lock it in, bro. You already know it. But I ain't trying to do yeah, that because I ain't trying cousin. to grow up like that and then do Get it as an step adult. in, both of y'all, man. Daddy, daddy. Shut your bitch ass up yo. before I get right. to talking shit about go you. upstairs, take showers. It's 841. You didn't say I, that. Yo, look, right, I'm a fuck with you. All right, bro, get to stepping. Shut yo. your goddamn ass up. Yo, man, what's wrong with y'all, man? Bro, what's wrong with them, bro? Shit. They be, like, forcing me to tell them I'm a fuck with them. Damn, bro. Yeah, yo. I don't have to say I'm a fuck with you every time. God damn, these little niggas don't understand. I don't like cursing in front of them. Look, hey, I want to let y'all know something for everybody in here. Do y'all see what I mean about teaching your kids how to curse? This is what I mean. You teach this shit to your kids. Your kids will only be influenced by what you, by the example that's set. So look, when you cursing around your kids or cursing at your kids, that's the reason why they want to curse. My kids don't want to curse because I don't curse around them. Bro, they want to say stupid shit like, I want, I, yo, I, I'm a fuck with you. They want to say that because they hear me saying the shit. They want to say you about ugly as hell because they hear me saying it. Because I thought the shit was funny from what I seen on interviews and shit. I don't talk like that because I ain't from the fucking South. And these little niggas want to say that. They don't say dead ass. You won't ever see them little niggas saying they want to say dead ass. They don't want to say shit like that. But they want to say I'm a fuck with you. Like, bro, man, these little niggas be tripping, man. We're trying to do here was to get this case dismissed. Fury Ben asked me, do my kids say the N-word? Hell no. Nigga, no, bruh. The thing is, I ain't dumb enough to believe they don't say it around when they ain't around me. I told them all the time. Y'all know I do know y'all say it, right? You think I'm dumb enough to believe y'all don't? I'm just like, yo, at least respect me by not trying to say it around me. As long as you do that and then just know the people that you're saying it around to you're not going inside like the children's daycare at my gym. You ain't going to school saying this shit. Anything like that. All right. Because look, I was a kid. A lot of y'all be trying to make y'all kids perfect. Your kid ain't perfect just like you weren't perfect, bro. You was a kid before. Look at the shit you did, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? I just try I just try to make sure my kids don't want to rebel. So I don't tell them things. I don't be like, don't do this, don't, and then don't tell them why not. I tell them, look, straight up, look, the reason why I don't want you out here cursing because there's better words to use. That's it. I don't say don't say it because it's bad language. It's foul language. No, don't say it because it's better words to use. That's it. With nigga, I'm sorry. I can't find a better word to use than nigga. So at, the, at any given moment, I'm a nigga. You know I'm saying I'm sorry. It just is what it is, nigga. Alexander said, do I whip my kids? Bro, as many times as when my kids do some shit down here and I'm like, yo, I y'all already know y'all on punishment. I got to whoop y'all. When These niggas have seen it. When I told my kids I'm going to whoop them, they would literally run and go grab all types of belts. Hell no, I don't whoop my kids, nigga. They will run. If I... Watch this. Adrian Isabella. If one of them little niggas come down here and I'm like, yo, I'm going to whoop you, they're going to be like, okay, let me go get a belt. Because they don't get whooped. They literally would love to go get a belt because they don't get whooped. Hell not to whoop my kids, man. To California's anti-slap statute, which to my understanding is when someone goes to the judge and they tell them, hey, this law- <laughs> Niggas are running for the belt is crazy. Nah, that's what they do. Anybody who's seen my kids, when I say I'm gonna whoop them, that's exactly what they do. They run and get belts. Yo, no, no, Adrian, let me get this one. Not uh, Izzy, let me get this one. Suit levied against me is a bunch of nonsense, but because it is now a legal matter, I do not want to speak- Alexander, we gonna talk about that when we done with this reaction. I'll publicly Just remind try me to done. defend myself because I don't want to open myself up to more litigation. Like as you could see here, her lawyers argued that the accusers were using this lawsuit to silence her. But in the end, the judge would rule that that anti-slap statute didn't fit all these different allegations, though he did toss out some claims, like the fat shaming claim and the idea that people were discriminated against due to their mental health problems. It is dangerous for the court to... MMA fans just said, you said it before, uh, and Lil Devin Booker said, actually said one time he wanted to get whooped. That's how you know I don't whoop my kids. My son straight up said, yo, daddy, whoop me, please. Way in, ham-fisted into constitutionally protected activity. I believe there he's talking about Lizzo's right to free speech. But it is equally dangerous to turn a blind eye to allegations of discrimination or other forms of misconduct merely because they take place in a speech-related environment. So to me, he's saying, yeah, some of that stuff that she said does kind of fall under free speech, a kind of like he said, she said. But some of these other allegations must have a little bit more merit. I mean, peer pressuring someone to eat a banana out of someone's pussy, I mean, that's pretty insane. Now, that from is, Lizzo's camps, they're crazy. essentially saying that these are just a bunch of disgruntled employees. They're Even arguing that Davis, that Williams, and Rodriguez, who are the defendants in this case, had it, it, it. Never mind, then an axe to grind saying. against the star because they had been reprimanded over a pattern of gross misconduct and a failure to perform their job up to par. So they're essentially saying, oh, these three girls, they're just being three sore losers because they couldn't make the cut. And in the end, they this is a clean big girl. This one right here, you ain't got to worry about the smell. This one right here, she keeps up with herself. You could tell. Just look at her. Even down here, everything about this girl look clean. This is a clean big girl. This is one of them joints that you good with. Like I said, at the end of the day, regardless, it's it's gonna have a little to it. But it's not like you. It, it's it's like regular coochie smell. It's like yo, I bet this ain't fat bitch. This is. This, you know what? And you know what I mean. They weren't good enough to be part of my dance team. Plaintiffs embarked on a press tour, vilifying defendants and pushing their fabricated sob story in the courts and in the media. That ends today. Instead of taking any Yo, accountability for their out, actions, bro. plaintiffs filed this lawsuit against defendants out of spite and in pursuit of media attention, public sympathy, and a quick payday with minimal effort. And apparently the judge even made a motion to dismiss the harassment allegation that came from that nude photo shoot that apparently nude some of these photos. women did not want to partake in and he also dismissed this other allegation if they didn't want to partake in it why did they partake in it they stated that lizzo's camp was intentionally interfering with these dancers getting other jobs so to me it seems like the thing they're really going to be looking into here is that night at the red light district where lizzo seems to have been a very inappropriate boss she looked like she got a little mustache right there i ain't gonna hold you I, yo lizzo calm down with people who are obviously not only her subordinates but people who she has several different power and influence levels over so now lizzo and the captain of this overinflated i wasn't gonna say it but it was, you said it captain. dance team charlene will still have to face these allegations of
harassment, as well as accusations of racial and religious discrimination. So obviously Lizzo is going to be fighting this thing tooth and nail with her reputation on the line. Oh, I was about to say, what the fuck was that noise? I think it's extremely damaging in the court of public opinion because of the I think you're extremely gay. It is so obvious. Like, bro, nigga, yo, yo, gay ass, yo, bro, come on, man. ...that we've all believed Lizzo to be. And so we're going to see how this all plays out, but this is obviously going to change her reputation forever. And to me, her public image as this, like, body positive person, I think all that shit at this point is done. But I want to know what you guys think about this situation down below. Also want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. Yo, but shout out to Jamari. Shout out to Jamari. W video, bro. At the end of the day, that ain't going to do anything to Lizzo's career. I'm not going to hold you, bro. The way people support... Support? The way people support fat bitches? Nah, that's not going to do anything to her career at all. It's not going to hurt her or anything. Lizzo is going to be perfectly fine. Her career is going to thrive regardless. Because all she got to do is get on there crying and say people like uh, fat 